biology revision uh, quest, uh, AS session so during this lesson we are going to revise a practical question uh, basically a ser or a physiological question so a practical question is a question that demands you learner to use your senses you use all or you engage all your five senses except uh, the sense of taste. So you are supposed to observe, you are supposed to smell, you are supposed to touch so that you can feel and others. So those senses are very, very important when you are responding to a practical question. And I've said except testing you're not supposed to test anything in the laboratory so uh, we have then a question to guide us through this revision uh, session and we are going to do or discuss a food test question so you are provided with a food sample labeled solution Q and dear Lana, I want you to observe that that solution Q has been highlighted so using the reagents provided, carry out the tests to identify the food substances present in the sample. So you have different reagents and we have uh, iodine solution. So we have iodine solution is our reagent. We have iodine solution as our first reagent as per uh, our list there, iodine solution number two we have benedict solution sorry number two we have benedict solution benedict solution dear student there is something that i want you to keep on observing even as i show you these reagents i want you to be observing be keen on their colors be keen on their colors very very important so i've said this is iodine solution not iodine it is iodine solution then uh, we have another one that is benedict solution we have benedict solution and then uh, we have copper sulfate we have copper sulfate solution we have copper sulfate solution then uh, we have sodium hydroxide we have sodium hydroxide. So this one you can see it has no color. It is colorless. Sodium hydroxide. Then uh, we have another one, hydrochloric acid, which is also colorless. We have hydrochloric acid, which is also colorless. And that is why I am, uh, I have insisted that we should not taste anything because these reagents are usually labeled so you don't have to taste and find out which one is hydrochloric acid and which is sodium hydrogen carbonate you don't have to taste because they have been labeled for you then uh, we have uh, we have copper i'm uh, sorry uh, we have another one another sodium hydrogen carbonate uh -huh. another sodium hydrogen carbonate and then uh, we have di dichlorophenol idophenol we have dcpip dichlorophenol idophenol so dear student if you look at those reagents they all have different colors 
Some of them look like they are close to each other, like the Benedict solution and uh, the copper sulfate. Both of them are blue in color, but then you can see their blue colors are different.